This sprawling variety of Hoya is called Hoya crassicollis, and it's originally from Philippines. I've had this for about a year now, and it is a pretty prolific grower, as you can see. It has these really succulent, kind of shiny leaves, and this would definitely be working better in like 50 to 70% of full sun. It can actually handle a little bit more full sun, so even maybe bumping it up to 70 to 90%, but you'd still have to make sure that it's um, being a little bit more well watered. But you could see here that I have this kind of uh, almost like stony kind of barky lava stone uh, mix here and it's just because I never really like to keep my Hoyas in, in wetness, like in a wet soil. So I always wanna make sure that it's well draining. You could already see here from these stems that this is a plant that is probably easily propagatable. So you could see all these little adventitious nodes right here. So even if you clip in one of these areas and you stick that in water or a moist sphagnum, that's going to root up like super quickly. Right now I have this under some artificial light and it's a little bit far away from my southwest facing window, but I'm looking into getting some shelves that maybe I could actually grow this a little bit closer to my southwest facing window. Not necessarily on the windowsill because again, I don't like to put any of my Hoyas directly in some southern or western exposure because generally that's a little bit too much, especially in my windows because it's a lot of intense light throughout the day, especially in the growing season. So I have a tendency to kind of pull them away a little bit, including this one, even though this one can handle a little bit more light. This doesn't require too much humidity. If you're giving it moderate humidity, it's going to be completely fine. Watering it, I water it about once a week right now, but if I do move it a little bit closer to my southwest facing window, I'm going to start watering it a little bit more frequently. And I won't fear in kind of overwatering it only because I have this really well aerated mix. And I don't know if you could see here, but the roots are actually starting to come out a little bit here and I, I should probably cover them up a little bit but um, they're kind of like a, a matty kind of root and they will kind of fill out this pot. So you may need to actually up your pot size because I know some Hoya actually don't mind being in small contained pots. Um, this one doesn't either, but it will kind of eat the, the entire mix and you eventually will need to kind of like yank it out of the pot and, and remove it. Uh, as far as pests go, I haven't had any kind of problems with this particular plant whatsoever. So you're all okay there. And um, if you're growing this and you've had pest pressures, then you know, let me know. Um, but otherwise, I think this is a very easy one to, to manage. And of course, you can learn a little bit more about Hoya in my Hoya Care Tips video on YouTube. Otherwise, Hoya crassicollis is a great one to grow. And if you don't mind it being a little unwieldy.